Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will explain how to solve problems regarding acid-base titration and also all the calculations involved. I am Madam Nurul Jaya from College Metropolis Pahang. Now let's look at the titration curve between strong acid and strong base. For example, HCl solution is titrated with an AOH solution, meaning that the analyte is HCl. So the pH here indicates the pH of the solution inside the conical flask. Initially, we have HCl in the conical flask. So we start from the low pH because we only have acid. As we add S, uh, as we add NaOH from the burette. The pH will increase. For the pH range between strong acid and strong base, the pH range is 3 until 10, meaning that from, from pH 3 until pH 10, we have almost vertical line. So, garisan ni dia tak tegak, tapi dia almost vertical. At pH 7, it is the equivalence point. Starting from 10, starting from 10 up to 14, this is when the number of mole of NaOH exceed the number of mole of HCl solution and finally it reach the maximum pH for this titration. So, the suitable indicator for strong acid and strong base are phenolphthalein, methylene, and bromothymol blue. Next, we go to the titration between strong acid and weak base. This is the titration curve, and in this titration, the analyte is NH3 ammonia, which is a weak base. So inside the conical flask, we have NH3 only initially. So that is why we start from pH above 7. As we add HCl from the burette, the pH will decrease, decrease until the point here where the number of mole of HCl exceed the number of mole of ammonia inside the conical flask and the solution becomes acidic. The pH range for the titration between strong acid and weak base is 3 until 7. Meaning that from pH 3 until 7, we have almost vertical line. And the equivalence point for this titration says it, since it involves strong acid and weak base, Therefore, the equivalence point should be acidic. So that is why the equivalence point is pH smaller than 7. The suitable indicator for this titration is bromothymol blue, methyl orange and methyl red. Now let's go to the titration between weak acid and strong base. An example of this titration is ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide solution. So in this titration, the analyte is CH3COOH, meaning that in the conical flask, we have CH3COOH. So the pH inside this solution is acidic, so that is why we start from the low pH. And as we add NaOH solution, the pH of the solution inside the conical flask will rise until it reach the maximum point. So as we can see here, the p the range the pH range for the endpoint is seven until ten, meaning that from seven until ten we have almost vertical line. It's not a vertical line, but it is almost a vertical line. And the equivalence point is pH greater than 7 because we have strong base and weak acid, meaning that the equivalence point is slightly basic. 
Now let's look at problem solving. So this is example 13, page 220. In the titration process, a total of 30 ml of 0.2 molar NaOH is added dropwise into a conical flask containing 25 ml of 0.2 molar HCl. So for question A, you have to calculate the pH before titration, meaning that inside the conical flask, we have only 0.2 molar HCl. So inside this conical flask, we have 25 ml 0.2 molar HCl. So the pH of the solution inside the conical flask is the pH of the acid only. And since, since this is monoprotic, so the concentration of H plus is equal to the concentration of HCl. So just insert directly the value of H plus into negative log H plus. So we have negative log 0 0.2 and finally you will get 0 0.7. So this is for question A. So now let's continue with question B at half equivalence point. So, kalau kita tengok masuk equivalence point tu, number of mole of acid and base are equal. So, kalau half tu maksudnya separuh daripada tu lah. Okay, so dalam conical flask tadi. Okay. So, kita ada 25 ml of 0.2 molar HCl. So, kita cari dulu berapa mole kat sini. So, half equivalent point. So, kita tahulah berapa NaOH yang bertindak balas kalau dia half equivalent point ok so kita lihat dulu the number of mole of HCl so 25 times 0.2 divided by 1000 ataupun ni sebenarnya formula M times V in liter je sebenarnya so you will get 0.005 mole ok so um, since HCl dengan NaOH we act with the ratio of 1 to 1 so kalau kita ada 0 0.005 mol so NaOH ni kita nak separuh daripada mol HCl lah sebab sepatutnya NaOH perlukan 0.005 for equivalent point so kalau kita nak half meaning that half of 0 0.005 half times 0 0.005 sama dengan 0 0.0025 mol of NaOH ok, so kat sini sebenarnya kita akan gunakan konsep excess reactant so excess reactant will determine the pH of solution ok, kalau kita tengok mol HCl dengan NaOH ni mol NaOH sikit so dia akan consume completely, so HCl yang akan berbaki so, kita betulkan spelling dulu eh. Yes. Kita cari. Kita buat perbandingan. Stoichiometry. Kalau dalam modul tu, dia guna ice table. So, sebenarnya kita pulang. Nak buat ice table boleh. Nak buat stoichiometry je pun boleh. Kita pulang pada awak. Sebab so, tujuan kita cuma nak cari berapa mol uh, acid ataupun base yang present in excess tu. So, 1 mol. 1 mol NaOH. React with 1 mol HCl. So, if we have 0 0.0025 mol in AOH, meaning that we also need 0 0.0025 mol HCl. Ataupun kalau awak dah nampak sebenarnya berapa mol HCl yang digunakan, awak boleh skip teruslah step ni. Okay, so kita boleh cari mol HCl excess. So, the mol available is 0 0.0025. So, yang digunakan is 0 0.0025. So, kita akan ada baki 0.0025 mol. So, from the number of mol of HCl excess, kita boleh cari lah berapa concentration of H plus tu. Okay, so the number of mol divide with the volume of solution. So, in this solution, we have 25 ml of HCl and uh, untuk NaOH dia tak beritahu kan tapi dia kata separuh so maksudnya separuh daripada 25 ml lah so we have 12.5 ml NaOH sebenarnya ok dari situlah sebenarnya datangnya 0.025 mol NaOH ni 
so kita tambahkan the total volume so 25 plus 12.5 so yang ni kena bahagi 1000 eh sebab molarity concentration molarity volume should be in liter concentration of H plus is 0 0.067 Voila. So, from the concentration of H plus excess in the solution, kita boleh cari lah. Dia punya pH. Just insert into pH. Negative log H plus. So, kita terus masukkan 0.067 and finally, kita akan dapat 1.2. So, that's for question B. Now, let's go to question C. Equivalent point. So, equivalent point ni maksudnya mol NaOH dengan HCl tu kena sama lah. Okay, so, write the equation first. So, if we have 0.005 mol, okay, ni daripada 25 ml solution tu lah. Eh. 25 ml of 0.2 molar HCl. So, maksudnya kita perlukan 0.005 mol NaOH juga. So, disebabkan mol kedua-dua ni adalah sama. So, there is no excess H plus dan juga OH minus. So, dalam kes macam ni kita kena guna water dissociation constant where the value is 1 times 10 to the power negative 14 to find the concentration of H plus dan juga OH minus lah dalam solution ni. So, KW equals to concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. So, 1 times 10 to the power negative 4 equals to X squared. Disebabkan kedua-dua ni adalah sama. So, kita boleh anggapkan nilai dia adalah X lah. So, kita akan dapat terus nilai X which is 1 times 10 to the power negative 7. So, the value of X here indicates the concentration of H plus and also the concentration of OH minus. So, from H plus, we can find pH. From OH minus, we can find pOH. So, next, we find the pH. Negative log H plus. So, negative log. 1 times 10 to the power negative 7. So, you will get the pH 7. Now, let's go to the last one. After addition of 30 ml NaOH, so, inside the conical flask, first we have 25 ml, 0.2 molar HCl. Then, we add 30 ml of 0.2 molar NaOH. So, kat sini kita kena cari lah. The number of mole of NaOH dan juga the number of mole of HCl present in the solution. So, that we can identify which one is present in excess. Number of mole of HCl kita dah cari tadi awal-awal. So, 0.005 mol. Then, find the number of mole of NaOH. 30 times 0.2 divide with 1000. So, you will get 0.006 mol. So, daripada kedua-dua mol ni, kita boleh nampak lah yang mana terlebih. So, kita boleh nampak that NaOH is excess. So, uh, kita boleh buat stoichiometry ataupun boleh terus jump kepada nak cari mole excess tapi untuk first timer kita tunjuk jugalah step stoichiometry tu 1 mol HCl is supposed to react with 1 mol in AOH since we have 0.005 mol HCl ok so ini kita sebab kita nampak eh terang-terang uh, HCL ni sikit so kita letak HCL kat depan lah supaya lebih mudah kerja kita so it requires 0.05 mol in AOH so dari sini kita tahu this one is mol in AOH react so kita boleh cari lah mol in AOH excess so 0.006 ok daripada 30ml ni 30ml ni ada 0.06 minus 0.0 0.05 mol so you will get 0.001 mol of NaOH okay, HCl is completely consumed and NaOH ada bagi 0.001 mol 
So from here, from the excess number of mol, we can find the concentration of OH minus. The number of mol divided with the total volume. So 25 plus 30. So 25 plus 30. Don't forget to convert into liter. So you will get. 0 0.018 molar so this is the concentration of OH minus so from the concentration of OH minus we can find the POH negative log OH minus so negative log 0 0.018 so you will get 1.7 and from here we can find the pH by subtract with 14 so the pH is 12.3 So sebenarnya tu pun awak nak guna Ice table ataupun kaedah unity reactant Tujuan kita cuma nak cari Mol that is present in excess tu sahaja Because the acid or base That is that is present in excess Will determine the pH of the solution Inside the conical flask 